again. This is Amanda Halleck, and I have some exciting news about one of the newest Adobe InDesign 2020 updates. Together, we will review how column rules used to behave, how in the new InDesign 2020 update, column rules automate formatting, and how the new column rules behave with various paragraph options, such as span column and drop cases. In under five minutes, you too will be able to leverage the new InDesign 2020 column rules to fit your copy content needs, whether you're designing a magazine, an ebook, or using some other text layout. Let's begin. Here is a blank document to give you a background on what used to happen with column rules. If you've ever read uh, magazines or catalogs, then you'll be familiar with these. They are the vertical lines that separate columns of text. Well, here at the top of the document, I have a single text box that was formatted to a three column layout. If I were to select it and resize it, you'll see that those lines do not follow. They stay put. That's because those lines are manually inserted using the line tool on the left sidebar. An alternate way of doing this was to have individual text boxes. So I'm sure you can see how that would be even more time consuming and infuriating if you had to modify the layout. Those days are gone. We'll come over to this other document that I pre-populated with some images and a text box here. Now the default for your type tool is a single box, single column. And that's important to note. If we come to either object and select text frame options from there, or if we just come to control B on your keyboard, which is command B on a Mac, control B on a Windows, it pops open the same dialog box. The tabs along the top are gone. Everything has been rehomed to the left. So that is a minor navigational change. If we are to add multiple columns, uh, we'll add three. You'll see that the column rule line does not automatically appear. And that's because its default is set to disable. But if I were to select this box and enable it, then you'll see that the lines automatically appear. Now the default size is a weight of one, but you can increase that or decrease it as you need. One is fine for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can also change the type, wavy, dotted, straight, whatever the case may be that you need. You can modify the length as well. Now you would think if you increase the point on the length that the line would get longer, but look at that, it actually doesn't, it gets smaller. Conversely, if you were to make it into the negative numbers, then the line gets longer. So make a note of that. Uh, the column rules are actually not assigned or aligned to the box itself. They are aligned to the top of your ascender and the bottom of your descender lines, unless you use this rule length feature. So I'll go ahead and put those back to zero because we don't need them any bigger. And I'll click OK. Now you know how to turn on and off column rules how to manipulate the thickness and the length. Let's see what it looks like when it plays in with some other paragraph formatting. Here I have another single box that was set to three columns and one of the paragraphs spans across all three columns. When I use control B, you'll see again, the default for column rules is set to off. By enabling column rules with all of this additional font formatting, you'll see that the column rules are actually quite responsive. It's a very great feature here. The column rules recognize that one of the paragraphs spans, so they interrupt themselves, they break. Uh, that prevents them from running through the text and making it illegible. Uh, also of special note, you'll see that the column rules extend beyond the top of the box. Remember I said they are aligned to the top of your ascender, not the box itself. Well, by having a drop cap, here on the P, the first letter in the first paragraph, uh, that casing difference causes the rule to go above and taller than it typically does. Uh, but either way, in general, it's fantastic because now as soon as I resize my box, look at that, the lines themselves are responsive and aligned to the box. So no more manual manipulation, it is fantastic. I love it. And here on this third document is an example of what your copy might look like when you incorporate all the features of the column rule in InDesign 2020. I hope you found this helpful.